Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth video in this series, uh, Exploring Moodle. Uh, in this video we'll be taking a look at creating resources. In the last video we did uh, managing participants, uh, interacting with participants and whatnot. And in this one we'll be taking a look at resources. Uh, my name is Victor Castro. So let's get started over here. Uh, in order to create and add resources to your course, you need to turn editing on. You can do that in two ways. You can look for the administration block and the first link there will be turn editing on. Or you can take a look over here in the opposite side and you have the turn editing on button. Either way will work. They both have the same function. So when you turn, when you click and turn editing on, the page will reload, but a little bit differently. You will see controls now for each activity and for adding resources and activities. Now to add a resource then, uh, you need to um, select the type of resource from the drop down menu, add a resource. Um, now, the resource is going to be added on the topic where you select to add the resource. So, for instance, if you want to add a resource here in topic 2, you will need to select add a resource and select the resource type here in topic 2. If you want to add one in topic 1, then you need to select it from the drop down in topic 1, etc. So, you know, uh, just so you know. Okay, there are different types of resources that we can add, and we're going to take a look at some of these. Um, so you can insert a label, which is basically HTML text or plain text that appears not as a link, but as actual text in, um, in the topic space or the week space. You can compose a text page which is a, a basic text page. You can compose a web page, uh, which is a little bit uh, differently because it takes HTML code and interprets it. You can uh, insert a link to a file or a website. This is a very useful uh, resource type and a lot of uh, your material might be links to files or other websites. You can also display a directory and finally you can add an IMS content package. Now IMS content packages it's it's a standard used to package uh, content and usually if you buy content for your Moodle site if you buy a lesson or a course it'll come in an IMS content package uh, for EC deployment. Okay so um, most of them work in very much the same way and we're going to take a look at adding a, maybe a web page and a link to a file or a website. Now here, uh, I think, I'm not sure which one uh, we selected. I think it's uh, displaying a directory. Let me cancel this. Sorry. So let's take a look. I'm, I'm switching to Firefox just because Google Chrome has a little bit of a um, of bug when it comes to displaying the the editor. So let me let me work with uh, Firefox for a minute. Here we go. So let's add a resource and select compose a web page. We're going to start with that. Once you select it, the page will reload and take you to the form to add a new resource. In this case, you're adding a new resource to topic one. So here we go. Uh, the form is, is pretty similar for all resources. First, uh, you have a name, so you need to name the resource, whatever this will be. For instance, we can name it um, 
a single page. Then there's uh, adding a summary for it. This is a description of your page, what it contains. And it will appear when you list your uh, resources. But it won't appear in the resource per se. So this could be uh, a description like a single page to review, for instance. And then comes the actual page, the full text. And you can see the editor over here. We can add images. We can add links. Of course, we can format and add text. We can also uh, embed uh, from different software, from different websites. For instance, YouTube. You can insert the embed code if you if you choose to take a look at the at the code. Okay, and you can embed documents or, or PowerPoint presentations from Google Docs, etc. Uh, so to to create the page just start typing uh, let's add a link um, let's add a link really quickly and here we go and we need to add our URL and I'm going to say open up in a new window just so that we won't be. So there you go. There's our link. Okay. Uh, so we might want to build our page this way. Then we have a, a few options on how to display it. If we choose, for instance, to display this page in the same window, then Moodle will, uh, when we click on it, it'll take us, it'll replace the course page and load the, the web page that we just created. We can also choose to display it in a new window. And then we have a few options on how to pop up that new window. Okay. So let's leave it at that uh, same window. Uh, we can also choose uh, to have the resource visible or to hide it for now. And we can al al also make it visible later. Okay. But we're going to le leave it visible. And then uh, once you're done, uh, you can save and return to the course or save and display to check, check how it'll display. So let's save and display and this is what we see, okay? When we go back to the course right now, now we see that there's a, a, a new link for a resource and it's a single page. If we take a look at our resources, uh, we'll have a list and right now we only have one, but uh, we'll have a list of those resources with the descriptions and this this is the description that we typed in the in the summary uh, field a single page okay uh, let's add now a link to a file or a website again adding a resource then select link to a file or a website and you'll notice that the form is very similar except that now instead of the full text field we have the link field okay but uh, th the same procedure we need to name it so in this case we're going to say uh, this is search engine and we're, and in the summary this description we're going to type a uh, link to the search engine and now we need to uh, either copy paste the URL or type it in. Uh, in this case, I'm going to type uh, the Google's URL. There we go. And again, we can decide how we want to display this. When it's links that are taking people away from the site, I would recommend displaying on a new window. Okay. So that people don't uh, go away from the site and lose themselves and then they, they are unable to find their way back to the course you know uh, so that this is probably the best option you can also choose to display it in the same window with a frame with the course navigation or to display it inside an iframe um, both options are okay uh, you feel free to explore for now, I'm going to do new window, okay? And uh, if if we have extra parameters to load that page, we can we can add them here. Um, 
we can also these are advanced options and we can also hide these you know and just uh, have the basic uh, options available or shown uh, again uh, how do you do you want this to be visible from the beginning etc and then save and return or save and display in this case we're going to save and return because it is a link to an outside uh, website so we're going to save and display and return to course to see our link then click on it and and try it out so here we are back so here's our new resource a search a search engine and you can see that it's a link to a website so when we click on it a new window pops up with uh, that link okay that's adding a resource uh, of the link to a file or website type the rest of them work in, in pretty much the same way I like to show you the label one really quickly uh, and this it doesn't have a resource name it just has the field to type in the text for the label so we can format and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay and maybe make it different color for it to stand out so I'm changing the color here I'm gonna make it this dark red uh, make it visible and save and return to course and you'll see that in this case because this is a label we don't have a link to the resource but it's actually the the actual text that we typed no link so those are some sample resources. Uh, I encourage you to explore the rest of the resource types to see the forms associated with them. It's very simple to add a resource then. Just uh, select the type and fill out the form uh, in, the, in the following page. Thank you very much. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at adding an activity. Thank you.